Well, this is the men's 5,000 meters, the NCAA meet record. Alistair Craig, great career in Arkansas. And the Cleese record this year by Lawi Lalang. Lawi Lalang, one of the great stories in track and field that I've ever heard. His brother Boaz was runner-up at the World Championships at 800 meters in 2010. He has those genes and that talent at longer distances. But he watched his brother, and his brother inspired him. Chris Derrick, uh, who's had a, a, an illustrious career at Stanford, 11 times an All-American in major competitions, NCAA indoors and out, and ran 13-19 at the Milrose Games for 5,000 meters also in this race. He is now a senior. Diego Estrada, wearing number 14 in the black headband, born in Mexico, now a U.S. citizen, and has had an outstanding year this season. So the class of the field on paper is Lalan, who is having an outstanding season as you look at the competitors there in the box on the left. 25 laps of this 200 meter track. Remember we're at about a half a mile of altitude, 2,700 feet. And that certainly is not a situation is not an advantage for some of these Kenyan runners, as well as Estrada, who's a good, a good flag staff at NAU. Let's take a moment and look at some good event action just outside the oval. The men's 5,000 meters saw a very moderate pace in the beginning of 431 mile here at 2,700 feet of elevation, but things began to heat up. And Lewis, what's it looking like from your perspective? Well, I think that it was very interesting with three laps to go to Chris Derrick took the lead. I would think that Sambu and Lalang would like that move to get a little rattling for them. But Lalang not satisfied with three laps to go to move it up. So if, if the sprint speed is going to kick in here at some point, Derrick has made it an honest pace. But I think that Lalang and Sambu are going to get the benefit of this in the end. Lalang and Lalang ran 13 minutes, 8 seconds to break the collegiate record. Uh, in the New York at the Milrose Games as he raced right to the wire with Bernard Lagat, his training mate. Lagat setting an American record and Lalang getting the collegiate record, 13.08. Works out to about, do some quick math in my head. You know what, I won't, I'll, I'll be positive about this before I make a mistake, but it is very, very fast. As to what he averages per mile. Back to the race action here as we have just two laps to go. And certainly pressing him is Derek. He knows that he's got good speed, and he's trying to take the kick out of him or make him work as hard as possible. Well, he's definitely trying to make him work as hard as possible. And Lang, at least the look on his face, appears as though he is struggling a little bit as he now attempts to take the lead back with one lap to go, 200 meters remaining. And it's Long and Lang, Chris Derek not giving any quarter, trying to stay close to him, trying to cover the move, but there, it just isn't another gear for Derek. Showing his brother's speed practically at shorter distances. Lowey Lalang, the sophomore at University of Arizona for Coach Fred Harvey, just pulls away Derek, Chris Derek running a superb race, strong race for second. Chris Derek of Stanford really made Lowey Lalang win that honestly. Yeah. Built up the team tactics and made it work over the last 800 meters. 